Parasocial Relationship Parasocial relationships are one-sided relationships where one person expends emotional energy, interest, and time, and the other party, the persona, is completely unaware of the other's existence. Parasocial relationships are most common with celebrities, organizations such as sports teams or television stars. That is the definition of a parasocial relationship. And despite the concept being absolutely bonkers, it's a lot more common than you might think. If you have a celebrity crush or a crush on someone who doesn't know you exist, that would count as a parasocial relationship. There are different levels to this. Sometimes it's just a harmless crush, other times it becomes an obsession. A celebrity getting love letters or unwanted advances from random people, that's nothing new. Celebrities have been getting those since the concept of a celebrity was invented. That is just, again, one of the many ups and downs of being famous. But the concept of a parasocial relationship mutated and became something a lot more disturbing with the creation of the internet. Anyone on any website can become attracted to any individual regardless of star status. It could be a YouTuber with a huge following, or it could be some literal who on a random website. What I'm trying to say here is, the internet made it much, much easier for some creepo to stalk someone they find an interest in. And over the years, there have been many a tale about the links some stalkers would go to to get the attention of someone they find attractive online. Probably one of the more famous examples is the tale of Daryl Pratt, a redditor who fell in love with a random IGN hostess and exposed his obsession while talking on Reddit, who most told him to piss off, and so he was never seen again. He said he was going to off himself, but to this day it's unknown if he actually did. That's one of the more famous cases of this, but it's not the most crazy. There is one case of internet stalking in a parasocial relationship I think has got to be the most batshit insane case of stalking ever on the internet. It puts all others to shame. This topic comes from a Philippian clay pottery image board known as 4chan. I don't think I need to tell you about this website, its reputation precedes it. The case in particular I'm talking about comes from the SP board. The SP board happens to be the sports board. Yeah, I bet you weren't expecting that now, were you? Now, I just want to say, I have no interest in sports in any form whatsoever. But it just so happens that this tale in particular originates from this board. 4chan is well known for one thing, and that says anonymity. Every user on the website is a completely unknown person. No one knows who you are, and no one knows who anyone is. That's what 4chan is for, to say whatever you want without anyone knowing who said it. But you can bypass this. Sort of. With the correct input of keys and scripts, you can create what is known as a trip code. You get this unique number combination and color that will make you actually have a presence and be noticeable on 4chan. But this sort of goes against the whole idea of the website. And a lot of people on the website are against this idea. There are a very, very small number of people who use this feature on 4chan and give themselves names and trip codes. The vast majority of the time when these people show up, they get mocked and belittled for using this feature. Hell, the website even has a nickname for these users. The people on 4chan call them trip... Trip... Oh, shit, shit, I can't say this on YouTube. Uh, uh, let's just say they call them... They get called Trip Bundle of Sticks. That's what they're called and mocked for. Today's tale has to do with one of these trip into a bundle of sticks. One of them who browses on the sports board, or should I say, used to browse on the sports board. This happened almost 10 years ago, mind you. God, where does the time go? The VIP here is a trip cigarette named UTV. UTV was a British user on the sports board, and like a lot of Brits, UTV fancied himself some footy ball. He was especially a fan of the Aston Villa, which I have no clue about because I don't watch football. I mean, I mean soccer. Well, whatever the hell you want to call it, okay? He, like many other sports board users, was also rude and likes to shit on anyone he's not a fan of. Also, he's really, really racist. And that's the most baffling thing about this case. It's the fact that there is nothing stand out about UTV. He's never shown his face, he has no noteworthy attributes, he was just like the rest of the sports board, except the fact he had a trip code. That is the only thing that stands out here. But somehow, some way, despite being just like the rest of the board, despite there being nothing interesting about UTV except the fact he has a trip code, UTV got a stalker. A very, very obsessive stalker. For a reason that is unknown to this day, this random person grew an obsession with UTV, and over time, started following UTV in every thread he went into, in every thread he created. And over time, he started collecting and screen capping UTV's posts. 
Anything UTV did, every post he made, every slur he threw, everything he said was collected by this stalker. Of course, this was not without objection from UTV, who told said stalker to cease and desist. But in British terms, he told the stalker multiple times to back off. The stalker did not stop. In fact, they flat out ignored and never responded to any of UTV's last shouts. Using the posts collected, this person started making collages. Collages of UTV's posts in many different ways. Creating a Wojak of them, and then allegedly printing them out and putting them on a burger and pretending to eat it. The most batshit crazy things you can think of, this person did. Other users on the sports board started to take notice of these events and of course were disturbed by them, and thus express how disturbed they were as well. Eventually, all these users collectively dubbed this stalker the Archiver because, well, that's what they did. They archived UTV's posts in weird, disturbing ways. This continued on for some time. Months went by, and the Archiver kept collecting UTV's posts, much to his objection. People were disturbed, albeit amused by this, and really just watched from the sidelines of this unfolded. And you know, this intrigues me the most with how UTV got a stalker like this. I mean, with cases like Gerald Pratt stalking some IGN host, y you can sort of see it. Onga bunga, woman pretty, me like woman, me want to be with women. So he starts stalking her. But like, UTV has never shown his face or anything, or anything about his personal life at all, just his post on fortune. Somehow, this person has become attached to three letters, racism, and locking a sports team. He spent months and months archiving things from UTV, collecting every little thing UTV said and did to an absurd degree. And then, something big happened. On October 6th, 2013, a breakthrough was found. On a regular daily thread, the archiver came out of the blue and made an announcement. 255 threads. I have been with UTV for 255 threads. This is my last one. My parents have discovered my UTV works and they have insisted I remove everything of the type from my computer and be done with it. They will be monitoring my activities now to make sure I cannot do any more. They give me a day to remove everything and this is my final message. I am sorry to UTV and I hope he sees this and understands. I have one more gift to share with him. This 97 page document contains every personal work I have created that involves UTV in any way. It is for him. I do not want anyone else to read it. However, I cannot stop you from doing so. These 255 threads have been amazing, and I will never forget them. Goodbye. And like he said in this post, he includes a link to a document. And he's not lying. It is a 97 page document. Inside Sick Document is one of the most batshit insane things I have ever witnessed. Inside this document is what the archiver was doing with all of UTV's posts. You would not believe what he was doing with all of them. The document is titled, The Filmerillion. Obviously a spoof of The Silmarillion, a Lord of the Rings collection of myths and stories based around that world. But instead of being based on Lord of the Rings, it's based on posts made by UTV. It's called The Filmerillion because that is what is believed to be UTV's real name. Very British, I might say. Since the beginning of June 2013, I have taken a great interest in the SP Trip user UTV. I have archived his posts and made these archives public, and celebrated them in many ways, some of which I have made public, such as our 100th anniversary celebrations. However, most of the things I have written about him have no place in the public eye. This is a collection of private works, stories, images that I cannot place anywhere else and am merely keeping for my own usage and viewing. And then, the next 96 pages are 96 pages of true obsession, true dedication to the stalking of some random user on a sports board on 4chan. It then goes on to describe UTV's actions, his gimmicks, his attitudes, his interests, and how he acts on the board, showing this user had really analyzed everything about him to an absurd degree. Then there are some more weird collages of UTV's posts, like in the shape of Africa and other land masses. Then he posts all the times UTV has lashed out at him and why he doesn't reply to him ever, so that UTV doesn't have to impress him. Whatever the hell that means. After this, things start to get even weirder. Like, extremely weird. It goes past weird quirky collages and he starts making song parodies of UTV. Wait, what? Love is a burning thing. And it makes a feel of me ring. Obsessed by a wonderful trip. 
I fell into a ring of fill up. I fell into a burning ring of fill up. With each flustered fox, my heart began to slip. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fill up. The ring of That was just bad. That didn't even that didn't even fit. Jesus, that was super damn forced. And there, there, there are other song parodies on here, but I, for the love of God, I'm not seeing the rest of these. There's shit like you got a friend of me from Toy Story and all that. I, <laughs> who the hell would come up with this? And then and then it's stuff like poems for UTV, sonnets for UTV, stories and fan fictions. The archiver even wrote a fucking erotic fan fiction. Of UTV. I shit you not, erotic fan fiction. Great, said the archiver. I have a life size UTV action figure, he continued, showing the dry wit and intelligence that he had learned from following UTV and archiving his post for so long. Might as well make the most of it, he thought to himself, looking at the body of the ghost in its firm, handsome form. Okay, I'm not reading the rest of this shit. And as the document goes on, it just gets weirder and weirder. Shit like the comedy roast of UTV. What would happen if UTV died? What would happen if UTV robbed a bank? UTV Rorschach test. UTV post turned into a mini golf course. UTV's post turned into a ransom note. God, somebody spit the time to write all this shit out and create this. All for some random dude on a sports image board. And it keeps going, where he starts making models of houses made from UTV's posts. A city made of UTV's posts, dating websites with his posts. But eventually, it goes from weird shit into disturbing. In the document, the archiver starts posting pics of his room in real life. He has shown he has now printed out UTV's posts and posted them around his room, posts hanging on walls, and posts of his haters on his doormat so he can wipe his feet on them. Even buying products and putting UTV's name on them to pretend like they belong to UTV. Gee, I wonder how his parents caught him. And then, there were the videos. I think I just got put on a list. These were uploaded to a channel named UTV Archiver, supposedly made by, well, you could take a wild guess. And no one really knows what these videos are of. It's just random videos in dark places, the places being of unknown origin. Some have speculated that these are of UTV's actual home, that the stalker had somehow tracked him down, but honestly, I personally doubt it. So the Filmarillion just keeps going, detailing every image UTV ever posted, every day the archiver watched him post and how he felt about his posts, and then it just ends abruptly after that. No final thought or anything. Well, I guess that's what this final post was for. And speaking of posts, how exactly did the sports board itself react to this? Holy fucking shit! The board was an absolute shock. No one knew how to appropriately react to this shit. No one knew what to say. Most were absolutely gobsmacked this thing even existed. And it just wasn't the sports board. This thing spread to other boards too. Other people from other boards came to ogle at this thing. The sheer amount of absurdity this thing presented just baffled the minds of many. It truly was a sight to behold. As this day in particular was cemented, as the day SP became the most autistic board on all of 4chan. Now, I want to quickly say, a lot of people seem to think this might be an extremely elaborate troll scheme. This was just made to creep UTV out by one of his haters. I mean, remember that time 4chan used constellations and air jet noises to find the location of a flag just to troll Shia LaBeouf? What if it's like this? Well, I would like to remind you, that entire thing with Shia LaBeouf was a group effort. Multiple people partook in that. This is all one guy. One guy. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. One guy archived all this, wrote this entire document, and made all of this by himself. Even if this was an elaborate trolling scheme, that is still into creepy obsession territory, even if it was just for Tillols. Ironic stalking and obsession is still stalking and obsession. But one question remains. And it's probably the most important one. How did UTV himself handle all this? The victim of all this obsession and stalking. This 96-page shrine dedicated to him and everything he did? Well, 
UTV was never seen again. His trip code, his style of posting, has never been seen or heard of again on the sports board. Almost 10 years later, and no one knows what happened to him. Maybe he quit 4chan, maybe he deleted his trip code and is now posting anonymously, or maybe the archive is gone. No one knows. All we know for sure, this is his legacy. The random trip code user on the sports board of 4chan who got a stalker. SP Mod is always trashing the good sports related threads. Obese universally hated the board wishes he were dead. Hot pockets and asthma puffers, he just cannot handle the bands. When his team gets blown the fuck out, he cries and then shits his pants. Mod on SP, Mod on SP. He is autistic, hardly linguistic, does it for free. Down in his basement on his chair While his mom combs his greasy hair He is a fat blob, thinks it's his real job Mod on SP 